Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by for another video, and I hope everyone's doing well today. So I wanted to take a few minutes and do a tutorial on the use of um, alignment guides that were added by Lightburn in version 15. Uh, we're all familiar with the alignment tools up top in the toolbar, uh, but this is something totally different, and I think it'll be useful to all of us. So if you take your mouse cursor, go over to the left near the ruler, you'll see it change. You can left click and just pull out a line. Uh, you can do the same up top. See the change? Pull out a line. And you can lock these in place. Uh, just swipe over one. You'll notice on the left that you get an indicator. You can right click on that indicator and lock the selected shape. You can do the same thing with the other line. Right click and lock the shape. So I want to find out if I saw this pop up over here on the right that I didn't know about. So I'm going to pull out another one and I'm going to swipe. I see here on the right it's red. I'm going to click it. Now it's green. I want to see if it's locked. And it is locked. Okay, so we learned something together. That's pretty good. Okay, sometimes things just happen. So part of what was added to this uh, alignment tool uh, piece is the, uh, the snap tool. The snap tool we have, and if you don't have it, you can go up to Window. I'm sorry, you can go up to Settings and make sure Snap to Object, Snap to Grid is on. And let's get us a square. All right, so we have a square. Now, typically, you would grab the corner of the square and pop it into the other square. And that's how snap works. Well, what Lightburn has added is the ability to make that uh, stickier. So if you push the Alt key down, while you're snapping, it'll snap from further away. So it makes the snap more sensitive and I'm sure more useful in certain, uh, certain situations, especially if you're in a, a really tight pattern working with a project. So let's duplicate this square. Uh, Control D. We're going to make it smaller. There's more to this uh, this alignment process. So now we're going to push the Alt key again. If you grab this other square, it'll give you the alignment for top, center, even sides. So you can line this up where you want to. And if we wanted to keep going down, I'm going to duplicate this one. Push Alt. And we could just go on and on with this. And I think that'll be useful. And as you pull one, it snaps. So it snaps into place and aligns where it needs to be. And when you touch it, you can see that snap. Let's do it again. You can see it snaps from further away than it normally would if, uh, if you're familiar with that. So I, I think that's going to be really helpful. Uh, I was uh, to glad, to, glad to figure it out. Uh, happened upon it. I didn't really figure it out. I just happened upon it. So these, uh, these lines are actually called draggable lines. And the lines we get here when pushing Alt are referred to as the alignment guides. And I'll drop a link to the uh, Lightburn documentation down in the description so you can go check it out. And the alignment guides also work as you're drawing the shape. So let's grab another square up here and push down the Alt key, draw out your shape, and you can see that the lines, the alignment guides appear for you. 
so you can uh, you can get it exactly where you want it to be. So I'm just going to control Z, take that back out of the way. One more thing. Um, when uh, a commenter lets me know something, I try to share that with, with everyone. I'm going to grab a polygon, shift, and I'm going to draw out a hexagon proportionately. Click the selector tool. And I normally talk about the uh, shape properties tab over here. And, of course, it could be anywhere on your page. And you have this little tool on top where you can grab it and change the shape. And if you don't have that, you can go up to Window and down to Shape Properties and make sure there's a check there. But what the commenter let me know, and this is a Four Wheel Cowboy. So thank you, Four Wheel Cowboy. If while you've got your shape selected, if you push the period key, you can rotate clockwise 90 degrees. And if you push the comma key, you can rotate counterclockwise uh, 90 degrees. So since we use this, we will find a way that this is uh, handy. So if we wanted to lock this one into there, uh, let's see, let's go counterclockwise so we can get our flat edge. We can push our Alt key. We can line it up to center, top or bottom. We're going to go center. And we're going to snap it in place. So um, that gave us a reason to, to use what we have just learned. And I just like playing with Lightburn. Uh, the folks there, and, and I'm not sponsored by them. I don't think anyone is. And they got some big brains over there, and they keep bringing us these changes. And they are helpful. And there we go. Okay, I'll quit. I've played long enough. But you folks, now that you know about these guides and the uh, snap being stickier and the alignment of the shapes, uh, you can go play with it and uh, just have fun with it. So I appreciate you folks watching. I hope the video was helpful. And check back often for new videos. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.